when I'm on the right trade, I've, I really can feel that I'm on the right trade. And then it's time for me to load it up, bigger my position size and make a big move, you know? Yeah, that's what we do. Yo, what's going on traders? What's up team? I hope you're all having a lovely time with Rafael back again. And in today's video, I want to talk about our trading sessions this week. Because this week started a little rough, but I was able to bank a good amount of money on a loaded up position yesterday. It was pretty similar to last week. Last week started rough as well and then I had a beautiful loaded up position that made back all the losses from the from the previous days and yeah ended up with a beautiful profit of around 25 percent this week man i'm telling you i was heavy loaded up on that on that trade yesterday um yeah i've shared all my trades this week for free in my free telegram channel so if you're not inside yet make sure to check the links down below in the description to follow my trading journey and if you're looking for advice if you need help you can always drop me a private message as well you will find a link in the description down below uh when i have time i'm gonna answer your chat and help you to get on top buddy so that being said let's get into the results real quick so this is from the first of april uh which is nearly 70 percent within the last two months this is crazy but let's get back into the beginning of the year we are up more than 134 percent this is amazing if I go back, uh, let me show you from the 1st of December. I loaded, uh, I've, I've deposited money in December to prepare the account uh, fresh for the beginning of the year. And in five months, we are up more than 134%. This is more than 25% a month, which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I'm taking a lot of risk as well. I'm trading with three to five percent risk. Sometimes when I'm loaded up, I extend that risk a little bit because yeah, when I see a trade is running my favor and it's 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 um, the probability is high that this is going to be a winner, then I like to load up my position size. And sometimes I have crazy big trades, and yeah, but it's it's all it all comes down to my experience as a trader. I'm doing this for more than a decade already, so yeah i would say let's start with the trading sessions this video is sponsored by triple afx one of the brokers that i'm using for my trading guys i will put the links down below in the description if you're looking for a regulated broker triple afx is the one to go and the other broker that i love to use it's an unregulated broker it's hanko trade i just love the way they work with crypto deposits and withdrawals and all that stuff and they make an amazing job so make sure to check both brokers out i'll put the links down below in the description so let's start on the daily time frame guys i told you uh, last week we were we were um we were aiming for the significant high at around 13,730 area, some, somewhere in this area. And last week we took it out, as you all know, the market made a beautiful push, uh, pushed through that high and yeah, it closed above. It didn't got rejected so aggressively. So I think this, this market still has a lot of bullish, um, probability and this is what i was aiming for like the whole week monday tuesday wednesday i was aiming for these buy setups um on some of my setups i was not patient enough to wait for a uh, much better confirmations i think two or three th trades i was a little bit too early on that trades i was rushing it a little bit <clears throat> i was a little bit overexcited which cost me some money at the end of the day um but yeah, we made it all back with the last trade on Wednesday. So what we have on the four hour chart, guys. So market on, I think this is Monday. Market was pushing up on Monday, was pretty slow. And then on Tuesday opening, we got above the recent high and then the market was just falling down. It was falling down on Tuesday, unstoppable. Then on Wednesday, continue to drop and it wanted to get back into this 
area in here this initial push i mean if we check if we take the fibonacci retracement tool and we measure this whole move in here like this is the 50 percent level market likes to dip below the 50 percent and looking for an area of um value um yeah where it can then later on bounce off of and on the four hour chart we have this zone in here this zone is like this zone is the the zone from the daily time frame if we if we um if we make it on the four hour time frame this zone would be something like that and it is exactly within that uh 70 and 79 percent retracement of that initial push and this is like a sweet spot if you are in a in a trending market the market loves to retrace like 60 percent 70 80 percent i mean if you have like a really strong um momentum move at the beginning of that move like this gives us a lot of evidence that that it probably will bounce around this area because there is a lot of support sitting the market was running extremely quick so there are still orders left on the table that want to get filled market loves to come back collect the orders and then make the next big step the next bigger step and this is what we see in here as well on the bigger time frame but the problem for me was i expected like i was i was not 100 sure if it will make this big retracement because sometimes the market just makes a little, little little retracement and just keeps on moving if you have a really strong trending market and um yeah this can happen so i was i was trying my best to to get in on that move on monday tuesday and wednesday um but yeah the market has other plans on on, on monday you see after i got in market was consolidating i got out at around break even took a little loss later on yeah the market was pushing up i would have taken some profits in here but i don't like to hold trades overnight and so it was better for me to decide to to, to leave it because the market was not ready yet then on tuesday we already before the new york session started the, we already had a huge push to the downside that means a lot of early birds buyers already got stopped out and then we had this this initial push to the upside that broke a little bit of structure on the smaller time frame so i stepped into the game and the market started to consolidate again i decided to get out market dropped some more i got out at break even on this trade as well then i then i give it another try because we took out the previous day low and we yeah we took out the previous day low and i was like okay maybe they just wanted to collect this low and then it wants to push up so i took another buy in here but this one got stopped up pretty early so i lost some money on this trade so i had two nearly break even trades one losing trade and then on wednesday i mean for tuesday i had these two entry opportunities but yeah the market was just not moving so i left it for the day took my two losses and yeah i waited for wednesday wednesday the market was even pushing some more down guys you see this <clears throat> you see this and then i took this first trade because if we if we make a line from here like this was kind of a support area it barely got touched as you can see it barely got touched and then we had this push exactly when the market opened i was like okay if the market opens this thing can just fly so i stepped into the game i didn't want to miss out on that one but i got stopped out it was not ready yet it keeps it it was it, it was continued to move down i mean we we have been at around the big figure number 13600 so this was a beautiful trade opportunity i took it market <clears throat> market turned around and then the second trade was a little bit unnecessary to be honest i stepped in way too early but i gave it a little bit air to breathe this entry was aggressive and i didn't wait it for for a better confirmation so yeah i gave it some air to breathe but i got stopped out on this trade as well but anyways later on i just took the third chance like i when the market started to give me on the one minute time frame give me this bullish structure again i can show you on the one minute time frame as soon as i saw the market give me this bullish structure here on a really small scale in here i mean we broke structure in here 
market started to print bullish I, I i started to get in i think i jumped in somewhere in here and then later on when the market came down i was <clears throat> i was i think i was loading it up in here as well just to give it a try and then the market was kind of like consolidating uh but i was like damn damn it man i'm gonna hold through this because i knew there has to have something has to happen man most of the big reversals they happen tuesday or wednesday so it didn't happen on tuesday so the probability the probability was really high that this thing is about to make a huge turnaround and yeah my first target was at around the new york uh, the new york high the new york session high that we had at around 13620 this is where i took uh the biggest chunk of my position off the table and then i uh, was letting another one run for higher targets but i closed this one pretty early as well i think i just closed it at around th uh, 13650 uh, i was happy for that day because i loaded up i loaded this position up pretty heavy i was holding this thing for a long time i was big loaded up on this one so i exited a little bit early as you can see the market was just flying uh late new york session the market was just flying up like crazy more than 300 pips this one would have been like a, a ridiculously crazy trade if i would have uh, stayed in but i mean having so much risk on the table i cannot manage it mentally to hold like a huge home run like that because these home runs they're not they not happen so often so i'm not chasing these home runs and these home runs are not part of my trading strategy i don't need them to be profitable so i like to take profits at the first easiest target but as you can see my initial target that i was marking up on my first trade that day it, it was at around 13,900. man we just slashed through this target just today during the new york session as you can see and the market keeps printing uh bullish structure it wants to move up guys uh, we're just trying to follow the trend in here i followed that trend uh, i followed that trend in in there this week i tried to i was a little bit um yeah i got caught up on monday tuesday i was a little bit early on that one uh, i knew that the market has to uh, pull back a little bit but yeah i was i don't know i was a little bit overexcited i stepped into the game i tried my i took my shots you know as i always do sometimes <laughs> sometimes i have to uh, take a few losses before um yeah being on the right trade and then uh, but when i'm on the right trade I, I really can feel that i'm on the right trade and then it's time for me to load it up bigger my position size and make a big move you know yeah that's what we do and if you want to learn how we do that, I have a I have a complete section inside my Genius Trading Masterclass course where I'm talking about this loading it up strategy. You can learn exactly how it works. It's a one hour video where I explain exactly how you can flip like even small accounts really quick. And yeah, if you're interested about learning that, you can check the Genius Trading Masterclass course. You'll find all my trading strategies in there, all my risk management uh, all my risk management strategies trade management strategies and yeah if you need help guys you can always drop me a private message on telegram as well you find links down below and yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you all had a profitable trading week as well and i hope you're all healthy and wealthy i see you in the next video guys thank you for watching take care peace <laughs>